Oh, that's such a strong pickup comp. And Onik, they double down with the export. That's a, a bit of a scary situation, man. Oh, actually, ultimates are already available, so Armor Q, they have the nature's wrath to try and make more DPS. Kyrie can be targeted down, everything used up, but Kyrie's still able to initiate or disengage from the initiation for now. Naomi, they've isolated him, forcing him back. He doesn't have the flicker, too. It should be first blood, and Sans picks it up. First blood for the Sky Kings, and they want to look for more. Kyrie's really walking up onto the turtle. Retri battle. Banana looking for it onward. Your shatter comes in, but it doesn't matter. Kyrie still finds it. Rough waves taking him low. Kyrie still sustaining for a bit, but Boots finds a trade back with the last insanity. RQ1, Onik 2. On paper, Thayos should have been RQ's just turtle to have to win. How in the world are Onik able to do this time and time again? As uh oh, CW has to be careful on the top side. The world he was used up already. Skyler with a heavy crossbow. One more shot, and CW gets taken out. Skyler with a win up top. Oof. All right, Q just trying to hit back right now in the goal lane. If they can only really win out, maybe then Skyler can do something. But look at that, banana. Baraga armor. Hey, but Keyboy already putting pressure here in the top lane. It looks like they might want to protect CW to get a little bit of that gold shield turret. He needs it to be able to get that snowball, unless Naomi says otherwise. Ooh. Purify though, it's a bait. Divine Judgment locks Naomi down. They faded him quite well, and CW's still able to escape. The heavy crossbow comes in, Skyler! One more shot to do it! He's in the bush! He plays with the vision, but Skyler's still able to find a trade. He will lose out on a minion wave though. Sans gets out. It is a little bit more even in that sense, unless, uh oh, Naomi. Wow, good cancel. On that, could have been a good pickoff. Breath of the Ocean used up by Clay. Trying to disengage Naomi, already very low. Or Shadow oh. Flicker onto Kyrie, going for the all in with a rough wave. There's Bob the Appraisers, right at the Retri! Kyrie! The god in the jungle. Clay now caught low. One more shot, CW gets a brace. Clay, understanding that CW is on a Bruno with that particular item already secured. Good cancel by Keyboy, just body blocking it right now. But look at the dive onto the back. CW gonna be caught as well. Way the dragon locking him down. Purify trying to get him out, but Fair Sick picks up a double. Two kills. So far, right? Already number one in the classman, unless of course Onik are able to win this one Ooh. as you go. Sans with the rough waves and the purify now onto Naomi. Wants to go for the kill. He gets it. Fair Sick locking him down, but Sans gets out. Meanwhile, Onik. Kyrie's already on it now. Divine Judgment locking Skyler down. So able to find a kill with the help of Clay getting the rough waves. Now it's Sans, zoning Banana, Kyrie securing the final turtle of the game as Kyrie walks forward. Last Insanity slowing them down, the Earth Shatter connects, but Banana will be blown up by Boots. Location to go for a big play, this is it, man. They want to go and get a fight before the Lord becomes too big of a problem and guarantees that the base towers do fall. Boots is a heck of a frontliner now. Hands of Baraka Armor, Divine Judgment going on to Fair sick, and he gets melted down just like that. Clay jumps in, but he does no damage now. The last insane into the back, and a full dive. An explosion takes two, and they're looking for more. Skyler and Naomi, the two members left from the kingdom. Sans cutting it, trying to look for some more. They're gonna go straight for the base right now as Naomi jumps into the GQ but it's gonna be dodged away from. Naomi gets outplayed. It's another kill for CW and Sans. Oh, Eleven. Oh, it's an Edith roll. Edith yeah, roll. Okay, there, there you go. go. Oh, Banana and the Paquito? Is this a macro game plan from RRQ? They have in the first turtle fight. Will Onik let it go? That's definitely the question here. I think in terms of setup, wait a minute. Naomi already with an engage onto two members. Sans doesn't have a flicker right now. Clay missed the gush oh. coming in. First blood by Clay. Dead end from Bogor. Already activated early on. But Kyrie looking for a re-engage or a bit of revenge. Mode of Without appreciation as we jump back into the game. Three minutes has elapsed. You can see that it looks like they're looking for a gank onto one another. CW going to be engaged on decimation. First, he picks up a kill. Meanwhile, Keyboy, oh, Keyboy. gets away the dragon on Skyler, but I don't think he's going to get much value out of this. It's actually Versic who claims a double with another. He is ahead for sure. And right now, it's still turtles, but once the lords start popping up, we see that usually that's where it gets difficult. But look at that! Where the dragon, beautifully done! Right out to Skyler, Boots picks up the kill. Now they go in, they pull the trigger. Last Insanity slowing them down slowly, but surely, Fair Sick. Damage Maybe from Sans earlier on. Yeah, I think it's going to be free. Uh, no Mystic Gush and no Faraga armor left. He needs to regen, and Kyrie's already going to get onwarded. Earth Shattered, Appraiser's Wrath coming down from Kyrie, buying a lot of time. Oh, he dodges away from Last Insanity, so gets a chunk of damage down. But Kyrie can just go back under the purple buff and RQ have already reset it 
No primal rat for Naomi. Keep on looking for the engage. Oh, he fights Skyler out of everyone. Brings him back to the team. The Mystic Gush does some damage and takes him out. Banana in the back gonna be taunted down by Kyrie and all the members from Onyx are low. But it's a roamer traded in for a gold lane. Kyrie. Banana. Nice oh, piece of flicker from Clay. A splash of damage. Now CW is free anyone with the help of the last insanity. Banana. Flickering forward out to CW. Knocking him out now. Going out to Sans. Forcing him back. And it's a W for RRQ, a 3 for 2. Banana. That's a waste of resource there for Onik. The best XP laner in Indonesia right now. Really, Ooh. Naomi, well, onward. Earth Shadow connecting on the CW, but the way the dragon locks him down, even with the Primal Wrath, the Immortality gets popped here, but Naomi, he had the Primal Wrath still there, now it's giving the last insanity, and Skyler gets bursted down! What was that damage? It's a disaster for RRQ, they lost three members out of nowhere. Banana is the only one here around the Lord up Pit. Top, looking for a base turret. Up top, CW and Keyboy walking forward. Clay, this is some damage. A good taunt over to Verisig, and this might be a kill over. One more shot is necessary. Banana in the back on the Sans gets taunted up. Peel down. Banana running away, but the Mystic Gush slows him down even more. And Cristiano Winaldo. Turret is dead. Without Banana, wow. be able to threat the back line. It's going to be a free turret. Will Oni try and go for more? I mean, why not? <laughs> Baiting a splicker already. Now Ferris is going to be taunted up and slain. Melted down. Clay's looking for a play, but it gets locked down instead. The way the dragon was used up defensively. Kyrie loses immortality. Now Skyler gets kicked back by Keyboy. And Onik are winning on all fronts. Banana, one man against the world. Going on to the minute waves. Clearing it out first. Onik, low HP. Banana can make a play here. Keyboy, not connecting on the Jeet Kune One cannon minion. Cleared out again by Banana. Getting chunked by CW. Cannon cleared out now by Naomi. Missed the gosh on from Sans and a flicker as well. Mega kill. Banana cutting the waves. One minute wave coming down right now. Banana gets locked down and taken out. Sans picks up a double kill. They have wiped RRQ out. And it is the sweetest revenge for Onik. 2-0. 2-0. By Onik. Wow. So did Sans really make all the difference? He just never flickered backwards. It's always aggressively. And I find that crazy, man. As a Gord player myself, I don't get it. <laughs> As a Gord Lord. Gord Lord? Wow. A Gord Lord. Whew. Well, there was a 17 minute game. So, sure, it wasn't as an improvement. quick as we saw in game number one. No, would you say it's an improvement? Yeah, Would for you sure. not say that that was exactly what Onik was planning? Uh, I, I will have to say that the mid-game power spike was exactly what Onik were, were going for. That's why they had to give away a lot of neutral objectives to start. But I don't think they expected to be that far behind early yeah. on. You know, because they were losing a lot of fights as well. It wasn't just, you know, giving neutral objectives, everything going as planned, keeping it below 2.5k. It was 3k, about to be 4k actually, at one point. And then uh, RQ misstep one time. Skyler was mispositioned and boom bang bada bing. Keyboy, I don't know what he has in his eyes, bro, but he can see these things. It's love. <laughs> love. <laughs>